All right, welcome to Indiana. Who's your state? Who's your state you live in? All right, whatever. Well, it's, it's welcome to Indiana, and this is the Welcome Center. All right, let's go outside, go inside and see who is there to welcome me. All right, let's take a look. All right, so obviously these are like some payphone deals. <sighs> you know, I mean, I guess right now you could, I don't know what you would do with that, but okay. So this is the inside of the uh, Indiana Welcome Center. And so that would be like your pay phones over here. And welcome to Spring Creek Welcome Center. So that's where the welcome person would probably have been sitting when this was actually somebody here welcoming. I wonder if I can pretend to be welcoming somebody here. There's a chain, there, there's a chain here. So I mean, I can't actually get fully into it. But let's see. I guess it'd be kind of boring sitting here. Welcome. I'm just seeing what it would be like to actually be the welcome person at the welcome center. See? Wow, that's cold, man. Wow. All right, well, I guess that's why the person left. They were sitting here waiting, and somebody kind of came in and said, Welcome. Oh, wait, here comes somebody. Let's try this. All right. So anyway, the, the cooker is pretty good. It takes a little, little bit. But, you know, I got time. And uh, not really, really in any kind of a hurry to do it. So... Well, this guy's like, well, I don't want to, he's like, I'm not coming in here. There's a welcome guy. Why would you leave? See? He didn't want to be welcomed. Oh, my God. All right. You're probably like, what's this crazy man doing here? I'm just kneeling. See? Kneeling here in the welcome center. Welcome to Indiana. Welcome. I just figured there's nobody here doing the welcoming. I'd try it. All right, well, welcome to Indiana. Welcome to Indiana. Oh, Lord, you look tired. You look tired. Yeah, a little. Yeah? At least I made it through Illinois, but I'm getting a ticket. Hey, anybody that can just try to get out of Illinois, is, you got a yeah. thumbs up just getting out of Illinois. At least they head back home to the Virginia. Oh, all right. Happy riding. Yes, yeah. sir. Happy riding. Happy. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah. All right. So I didn't want to like make it obvious. I didn't know, but hey, look, it worked. I got to welcome people. All right. See, they got camping maps. I mean, it looks like somebody really just pilfered the propaganda in this place. Oh. I want this. Look at that. Oh, oops. I think there's a camera here. I think that'd be great for inside the truck. Look at that. Look at the garbage can guy. Man, I want it just for that. Oh, man. Are there cameras in here? <laughs> I really like that. Maybe, you know, maybe I can get that. Look at that. Recycle your aluminum cans here. Where? Right here? This is a, look at this. Is there something wrong with this sign? It says recycle your aluminum cans here. Would you throw your cans here? <laughs> hey, I've seen some stupid shit driving a semi or driving a bike. Right? I'm on my 10 hour break here. I'm like, you know, I figured I'd come into the welcome center and. Oh, yeah. There was nobody here to welcome me, yeah. so I, I'm doing the welcoming today. Half the time they didn't give a shit about us anyways on the road. No, yeah. and the new and the new DOT regulations coming in at the uh, towards the end of the year here really screw up that clock. Break this just in case I don't get out of here. I really like this I sign. Yeah. All right, happy days. Hey.
Well, happy days. Right, I'm taking this. I don't see your camera. I want this. I mean, they're not gonna. Who's gonna? Who's gonna put their cans there? Come on, recycle your aluminum cans here. What on the shelf? Come on. But well, we are currently out of Indiana state map. Sorry for the inconvenience. We will restock it as soon as possible. Yeah, I don't think so. All right, this is the uh, Cooltron Cooltron lunchbox cooker. Man, it's awfully close. What's going on here? All right, so quickly here. Add a little water in there. You can see I added a little water. Put your tray in. This is what we're going with. Sorry for a little brightness. I got all the curtains closed. So that's what I'm doing. Protein. Kind of no carb thing here. All right, hold on a second. All right. Out of the out of the box. Just one block of frozen meat. I'm trying to do this one-handed here. Oh yeah. Just break it up. Obviously, you have clean hands when you're doing this. All right. So basically, shove it in there. <laughs> Close it. Well, okay, you know, I'm making a mess. That's because I'm trying to do this one handed. Plenty of paper towels. Alright, which I put up. That's a roll how I put them. Bungee it from one side to the other. You got a paper towel spinner. Okay, hold on. Alright, it's on the floor. Ready to go. Plug it in there. It's three o'clock. There's my microwave. And uh, one thing about driving through the night and ending in the morning, what time's it now? Well, I've got here probably around nine in the morning, so yeah, you always got plenty of parking. No problem with that. Uh, the only problem was being a welcome center. You would thought somebody would have been here to welcome me, but there wasn't. All right, well, I'm gonna take my garbage in and go to the bathroom while my wonderful meatloaf is slow cooking. Uh -oh. Here comes another one, lucky contestant. I'll just kind of go over this microwave since I'm screwing around here. All right, so I got this microwave at Walmart. I mean, there's not much you can really do, but you know, it's 700 watts. Um, a little rotating tray now uh, I don't know I think it was like 60 bucks you know what I can look it up and I can put a link in for anybody who's looking for the cheap on the road microwave it's pretty good it just um, like I would do short bursts with it because of the inverter I'm sure it'd be fine um, but you know you can hear that inverter whining out when you're you know cooking things so I think um, five minutes. I did. I was trying to cook something in there. You know, I was trying to do a like a, a complete Thanksgiving dinner. You know, like a ten-pound turkey and all the fixings and all that. And it just wasn't working out. Um, the microwave kept heating up. Now, what I have to say, it did like have like an overheat thing, and it kind of just shut down. And then I thought I burned it out, but then um, twenty minutes later it kind of turned itself back on again and I had to reset the clock so I guess you know at least it saved itself there was like a, I think for like three dollars like some kind of warranty deal and I mean I took it because you know you could take it and you go out in and out of the truck with it I dropped it you know I thought hey what the hell so what I do um, I take this out and um, for traveling, I put it back in the. Uh, let me say, I'm trying to hold this thing with one hand here. I mean, this is all. I just decided to do that. Get it in there. Get it in there. You. All right, 
Sorry about that. Hold on. Killing me. So, while I'm driving, I put it back in a little uh, deal like that. And then I close it. And then I tuck it off the side. That way that tray's not in there banging around all over the place when I'm hitting bumps. Um, so there, that's, that's the uh, microwave I use. I also got this like cheap coffee pot. I know it's upside down. There we go. I mean, how much more do I really need to make at a time? So I use that. I'll make that. And then um, it's a nice day out here. I can't believe how hot it is out there. When I got in here, you know, I mean, I got this thing nice and cold in here. But I went out there in long sleeve. People are looking at me like, why is this guy wearing long sleeve? Because I'm in here freezing. So I got this um, pretty nice thermos that somebody got me. Mm. I wonder who that was. It's actually very nice. Um, it stays hot in there uh, for a long time. Uh, so, yeah. It's a coffee pot. You know, nothing too complex there. Five cups. Whatever. So, okay, now you want to put the filter in the... Alright, we already know how to make coffee. So, <laughs> I think that was like um, 15 bucks. Something like that. So, um, that's the microwave. The coffee pot. The Cooltron. See, I got an outlet down there, too. For the microwave. And uh, I used the same for the coffee pot so in there is cooking the meatloaf and uh, we'll look and see how that came out later oh yeah that baby's hot you see that steam coming off of there so I just opened that up so it's like uh, time for watching ancient aliens and having some meatloaf and uh, looking out at the view I was cleaning up in here a little bit while I was waiting. And uh, I'll be ready. I think I got like an hour left. What do I got? Yep, I got about an hour and 15 minutes left on my clock. And I'm heading to um, Tip City, Ohio. Started out in Danville on a drop and hook there and ran out of time coming through Indiana. So, it's ancient aliens. Some meatloaf, just protein today, and whatever, you know what, dispose of it out here, plenty of garbage, when I'm done. Alright, well that's, uh, that's the uh, Indiana Welcome Center experience. I don't know, one thing I noticed in this, uh, alright, well yeah, I'm going to Look at these screws. Alright, so... In this stall, okay, a TMI, right? All right, but anyway, but do you really want sharp screws sticking through the wall? I mean, did they not um, did they not like notice that they drilled right through the wall, to, like scrape, or cut your arm open or something? All right, all right. Well, thanks for watching.